Oh, yep. See that? Oh my goodness. What did I hook? Well, hello and welcome back. This is Christian with Nate Time Fishing here. I am back out on Breach Inlet today and I'm trying a couple of new things. But what's really exciting and what I'm mainly doing today is I'm going sheep's head fishing again, but I'm trying a new rig which I've never seen someone else do and I've never used myself. So what I have rigged up is essentially a slip float rig. So if you've never heard of a slip float rig, it's commonly used for all types of fish, especially crappie and bluegill and brims, like a freshwater technique a lot of the time, but people use it for redfish, trout, pretty much everything. But I've never seen people specifically try to use it for sheep's head and design a rig for it. So these bobbers are meant for trout and they have a little plastic peg in the middle and you run the main line through that hole so it can slide up and down the line. And then up here, above it, you tie a little stopper. Um, this is a little piece of uh, leader material tied in a uni knot. And what'll happen is the bobber can't slide past it. And what's cool about that is you can cast out, the uh, rig will sink and the bobber will stop at a certain depth. So you can control the depth that the bait is sitting at. So depending on the changing depths and stuff like that, you can adjust how deep you want the bait to be. So uh, below that, I have a swivel, about a foot and a half, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with a size one mosquito hook, uh, tied on with a little loop knot and a split shot above that. So it's essentially a split shot rig uh, suspended below a slip float bobber and I can change the depths that it's fished at. What's great about these tiny bobbers is they don't support a lot of weight, maybe an eighth of an ounce, if that, before they go under. So the fish won't feel a lot of resistance. So I should be able to get even sheep's head to pull the bobber under, I hope. So I'm going to try that out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned. See if we get them. So I was actually wrong. This bobber is so light that this tiny 1 12th of an ounce split shot is sinking it. So I'm going to have to try to use zero split shot and hope that that works out. With this type of slip float rig, what you essentially are doing is trying to figure out the right depth to keep this just barely off the bottom. Once the bobber stands up, it means the bobber stopper has hit the top of the bobber and it's no longer taking out line. All right, I think I need to make this deeper. I right, added about a foot. Oh, yep. See that? Oh, that was awesome. That worked exactly how I wanted it to. There was no doubt whether a fish had pulled on it because I knew that the weight of this crab in the rig wasn't enough to pull that tiny bobber down. Cool, probably a little 12 inch to start out the day. Let's see if we can find more doing this. And this one's a little shower. Pump it down a bit. So that time I saw the bobber move the slightest bit, but it didn't actually go under. And that's a good fish. He's got a jacked up thing on his mouth there, but that's probably uh, about a 14 inch or so. I'll wait for like a 16 before I keep, but solid little fish. So maybe the Bigger ones are a little sneakier with taking it. Switching it up for a little bit here. The sheep's head bite seems to have hit a lull for a minute. So I corded up a frozen blue crab and I'm going to drop down, see if I can find a big fish. Probably redfish, black drum, something to that effect. Feeling pretty heavy. I didn't think he was very big till he hit the surface. That was like a really strange bite. 
I don't really know what this is. This might be a decent black drum. Oh, it is. Okay. This might be my PB black drum. I don't catch a lot of them, and I've never caught an even decent one, so let's get this guy in. Nice fish. That's a pretty big black drum, dang. Let's take a look at this big black drum here. Listen to him croak. Wow. It is crazy how strong this spot for its size. Let's get a quick measurement and we'll get it back. All right, 24 and a half inch black drum on the 3 8 ounce sheep sticker jig from Bel Air Jigs. That's my new PV. I don't catch many black drums. This guy fought really well for his size. I'm very impressed. If I catch a 30 inch, I'm gonna have some, uh, have my work cut out for him. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Let's get you back. Come on back, buddy. Yeah, uh, swam off before I could revive him. But he's swimming around just in the shallows. Oh, there he goes. All right. Let's give this dock a shot with the uh, slip float rig. Wow, that's some wind right there. Man, I would love to be trying this on a calm day, but this is the uh, hand I was dealt here. What the heck was that? Is this a red or is this a sheep? This is a sheep, it's pretty good. Oh yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> Bit of a cluster on the hook set. I'm not sure exactly what I did there. I think I just didn't put the bail down all the way, but this is a very solid uh, hook set. Oh, I bet he's like 16. Let's get a look. Oh, actually, he's just a very healthy, like 14 and a half, almost 15. Let's uh, get the hook out and uh, get him in the cooler. set but he wasn't very big oh. yep oh. all right well of course now that I switched back the wind has started to die a little bit but the wind's been a little bit too strong and the current got a little too high for um, that slip float rig, going to take a blue crab break. Try to see if I can get another big fish for the road. This is my last frozen blue crab I brought with me today. So I've got four baits. Hopefully we can get one fish out of it, at least. dead weight right now he's not running oh stay away from the pole don't go towards the pole wow he is really strong don't do it Oof. these head shakes are insane See if I can guide him this way. Don't go back in there. Holy. Need to get him. 
come out from there. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to keep my rod low and I'm also trying to hold on to this dock here so he doesn't pull me too close. Oh my gosh. Stay in the middle, please. I'm trying to play him slow. Because if he panics, he could probably just wrap me up very quickly. This is a very, very heavy fish. If I get the chance to get him out, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh. for now I'm away from the dock oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 come on this way he keeps trying to go back for the dock I still haven't seen him so I haven't seen him. No, 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 no. 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 Oh my goodness. What did I hook? I feel like this might be a big black drum. It just doesn't seem like it's fighting like a redfish. Getting close to this piling. He's rubbing. Oh, oh my gosh. It is a massive redfish. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I need to stay away from all these pilings. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking. This is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Made me so nervous fighting that fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this redfish. <laughs> oh my goodness. On the tiny little 3 8 ounce sheep sticker jig, that fish is unreal. Inshore, under a dock, well, nearly under a dock. I was dock adjacent. That was a long fight. This fish is powerful. I'm gonna um, try to measure in my lap here with a tape measure to get a better measurement. This is far from exact, but he came to about 33 inches. That fish gave me a crazy fight. That was fun. I was nervous. I He was just dead weight. I thought he might've been a giant, giant black drum, but I'm not disappointed to see this guy. Let's get a good revive on him and get him back in the water quick. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He wasn't messing around. He was ready. I don't think that was on camera, but whew. All right, second chunk's gonna go down in just a minute here. I will be very excited if we can get another fish, even remotely close to that fight. Oh my gosh. I was about to call it. I was about to throw this bait 
in the water and call it. Let's get you out here where it's safe. As opposed to under there where it's definitely not safe. He's wrapped around a rope down there or something. Feel him rubbing. Energy. Ooh, no, don't do it again. Oh. Don't try to go to the dock. I'm pulling him backwards. Let's get this net out while we have a chance. So when we get when we get him up, we're gonna want to get him quickly. He's as big as the last one. It's pretty close though. Come on, come on, come on. It's pretty close. Come on, buddy. Yes. Well, this is the second tank of the day and I swear it looks like the exact same fish. I'll have to look back at the markings on its tail to see, but that is another probably 32 inch or so. <laughs> Same sheep sticker jig, 3 8 ounce, uh, glossy red, frozen chunk of blue crab. It was my last one. I actually thought it had been picked clean by uh, bait thieves. <laughs> All right, well, this beautiful fish goes closer to 32 than 33. So probably not the same fish unless I'm really inconsistent with measuring. Look at the belly on it too. That thing was strong. That, it, it's not skipping any meals. <laughs> He's drumming away. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Oh, there, there he's starting to go. We're gonna call it there. Okay, well, I'm going ahead and calling it a day after that. It was a successful one. I got to uh, use that slip float rig, caught a couple sheep's head, uh, a couple of keepers, I only kept one. I missed a lot of bites, but next time I need to bring a little split shot that's light enough to um, not sink the float. Those redfish at the end were great. I caught a PB black drum earlier. I know it wasn't a huge black drum, but it was a big black drum to me because I don't catch a whole lot of them, so I'm still happy with it. I love the way it fought. I would love to catch a big, big one of those, like an actually giant one. I didn't have high hopes for a day, but I would rather be out here than sitting on my couch on a Sunday. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Remember to make some time for fishing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.